Welcome to Speed Facts, where the stakes are high because I only have three minutes or less to tell you everything I can about a subject. And today, that subject is Disneyland. Please subscribe for more videos if you like this one because the timer starts now. Disneyland's opening day was a bit of a disaster due to more than 13,000 guests showing up than expected. Rocket to the Moon, Peter Pan, and Dumbo the Flying Elephant were all closed. Tomorrowland wasn't quite finished yet, and many of the restaurant's food stands ran out of food. The hot temperatures turned Main Street USA's newly poured cement into tar, leading to women's high heels getting stuck as they walked. All of this chaos led to the cast members giving the opening day the nickname of Black Sunday. When the park opened, admission was $1, according to PBS. It's now over $100. Oscar Martinez, who now works at the Carnation Cafe, is Disneyland's longest serving cast member. He started working at the park in December of 1956. In the late 1990s, a popular trend started growing of ladies flashing the camera on Splash Mountain. This topless trend got so out of hand that Disney assigned a cast member to monitor the photos for obscenity before they were shown on the attraction photo TVs when you get off the ride. There's a small basketball court in the Matterhorn. Every horse on the King Arthur Carousel has a unique name. The most famous horse is Jingles, which was reportedly Walt Disney's favorite. Other horses include Fern, Frenchie, Gypsy, and Hoot, among 63 others. During the early 60s, the Mexican eatery Casa de Fritos would take stale tortilla chips, spice them, and fry them up, creating what we now know as Doritos. The chips became so popular that Frito-Lay bought the concept and debuted Doritos to the world in 1966. The drawbridge in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle is operational. It's only been utilized on two occasions, and that is at the opening of the park and the reopening of Fantasyland. Four babies have been born in Disneyland. They were born on a bench near the entrance, at a Disneyland first aid station, in a backroom office, and most recently in a Disneyland parking lot. The plants in Tomorrowland are all edible. Lemons, oranges, lettuces, peppers, and a variety of herbs can be found in the landscaping. There is one ride that is older than all the rest. Disneyland's King Arthur Carousel in Fantasyland is even older than the park itself by several decades. It was estimated to have been built as early as 1875. Those aren't official American flags on Main Street. The flags only have 45 stars rather than 50 so that they don't have to fly by the official flag rules such as having them illuminated at night or taken down at the end of the day. The harpsichord in the Haunted Mansion is a movie prop and was featured in the classic Disney movie 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Every popcorn cart in Disneyland has its own mascot, a little creature from a Yeti to Davy Crockett that appears to churn the popcorn popper. There used to be a smoke shop on Main Street. The tobacco shop carried tobacco and smoking accessories from around the world and was open from 1955 until 1991. A few stars got their start at Disneyland. Steve Martin worked at the Magic Shop, Michelle Pfeiffer dressed up as Alice in Wonderland and greeted guests, and Kevin Costner was a Jungle Cruise skipper. The official announcer for Disneyland, Bill Rogers, is married to Camille Dixon, the announcer for California Park Adventure. And that wraps up everything we could tell you about Disneyland in three minutes. In fact, we had so many facts that we're going to have to make a part two. Heck, maybe a part three, so subscribe for those and all the other videos we're going to make. We really hope you enjoyed this because we really enjoyed making it. See you soon!